Welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast, part of the 90 Min Football family. If you haven't done so already, please do leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, if you're consuming the content via YouTube. If you're listening to us on audio, please do leave us a review as well. That really, really does help. Okay, Thomas Partey is back, baby. Thomas Partey is back in training, which is what we've all been waiting an age to see. Now, I know a lot of people have suggested that he's been back in training actually for a little while and that what Arsenal have been doing is being very careful and very, um, you know, almost trying to keep their cards close to their chest. There have been some suggestions that Arsenal um, didn't want Thomas Partey's return to be a talking point really until the AFCON was out of the way from fear of him going, uh, pushing himself too hard because of his want to play for his national team, because of their want, of course, to, to get him into the picture, that we'd end up losing him again for a period of time. I think he's so important to Arsenal Football Club. But for the first time, really, um, this afternoon, the club went out on social media. Welcome back, Thomas. They posted this picture of the Ghanaian midfielder, who's just become a dad, by the way, as well. Congratulations, to the Partey family for that. Um, he was back on the training pitch. He looks like he's ready to go. Will he be in the squad for Nottingham Forest on Tuesday? I'm not sure. I would love to turn up at the city ground on Tuesday night and see that he's at least made the squad. I don't think I'd, I'd start him necessarily um, straight away. I think you'd want to kind of ease him back in because of his importance. And I talked about the need to kind of protect him a little bit because of how long he's been out, because of his tendency to break down. But I think this for Arsenal is is huge. Like, I don't want to use that old cliche of he's like a new signing, but this really is massive for Arsenal. I think he'll bring the balance to Arteta's midfield that at times we've been missing this season. I think defensively, he's excellent. And with him and Rice at times sitting in front of Saliba and Gabriel, when we require that extra bit of solidity, will be a tough old unit to break down. But for me, it's his offensive influence, even from a deep position, um, that is the key. He's so press resistant and his incredible range of passing, to me, will make the world of difference. He's key to getting the ball into our forward players nice and early. And his return is a much welcome boost for the Gunners going into the business end of the season. Am I doing an Arsene Wenger by saying, you know... Um, it's it's a new signing, maybe a little bit, but we've been without this guy all campaign long. And that's the reality of it. And I think that Mikel Arteta's plans were scuppered by the fact that not just him, but that Jury and Timber was out as well. I know people keep referencing the fact that he played a couple of games at the start of the season as a right back. And to me, that was strange as well. But I honestly do believe that if you get Thomas Partey back into that midfield, with Declan Rice, with Martin Odegaard, we are a completely different animal. We are a, a much better team. I would say that we're 30% better as a team because I think Thomas Partey is key to so many elements of what we do. I talked about the defensive um, ability, but the progressive passing bit for me is the, the main thing. To be able to get that ball into Saka, into Martinelli, into Odegaard, into Jesus that bit earlier is huge, particularly when you face low blocks. And I don't think there's anybody better in the business than Thomas Partey at doing that from that deep position. I think Declan Rice is a fantastic midfielder in his own right, but he's not the same as Thomas Partey. He's a different type of player. He has a different skill set. Thomas Partey really does, when he's fit and on song, have it all. And that's why I'm desperate to see him back in the side. And if we have to wait another couple of weeks to kind of blend him back in, um, in the right way, in a safe way, in a way that means that we have him in our ranks for the business end of the campaign, then so be it. But just to see the club go public on him being back in training is an encouraging sign. We'd heard whispers, we'd heard murmurs, we'd heard rumours. But to have that now put out in the public domain by the football club when they've been really cautious about talking about him for a little while is a real positive. And I cannot wait to see him back in the side. Uh, what have we got? Um, Maximius says, uh, Arteta needs to manage his minutes very carefully. Uh, Partey is important if we're to finish the season strong, both in the Premier League and in the UEFA Champions League. You're absolutely right, mate. Um, I think for me, 
you know, you, you look at certain games and you think, OK, you know, at home to bottom half of the table opposition, for example, stick Kai Havertz in the midfield. Let one of Rice or Partey play as the six and we'll probably get away with it. And we could do with actually that little bit more of attacking intent because we're likely to face a low block. When you go away, though, to some of the places that we're going to have to go away to in the second part of the season, we've got to go to Tottenham. We've got to go to Man United right at the end of the campaign. Um, you know, there's a few there's a few big places that we need to go. We've got to go to Man City. You want to have that ability to put Rice and Partey in the same midfield, allow Rice to, to come off the leash at times and go forward and join in with attacks and carry the ball and drive in the way that we all know he can, but also to have that flexibility of then saying to someone like Declan Rice, we're under a bit of pressure here. We need to weather the storm for the next five, six minutes. Drop in alongside Partey. Play as a double pivot. You're both defensively incredibly sound. You're both able to set us off on counter-attacks, but in different ways. Rice can get the ball and carry it out of dangerous situations. Thomas Partey can do that too, but he's more of a passer. Thomas Partey is the type of guy that knows what he wants to do before he's received the ball and can ping it accurately, right, left, through the middle, and get us on our way. Steve Stone says, given the choice between a new striker signing or a fit Partey, I'd take Partey all day long. I would too. I really would. Cesar says, Partey being back feels like a new signing. And I was really careful about using that term because it is a bit of a cliche and people will beat you up with it because they'll make it out or they'll take it as though you're defending the fact that there are no signings coming. But to me, this is massive, massive news and I am buzzing about it. And I hope to see him in the squad on Tuesday um, with him sort of gradually uh, blended back into the team and, uh, and gradually uh, with him becoming one of our key players again, because I've waited all season to see that midfield trio um, connected and working together. We didn't get it in the first few games. We were denied it by Arteta's decision to play Partey at right back. Um, and then we've been denied it because of the injury problems that the Ghanaians had. But hopefully we're over that now. Fingers crossed. 